Hi, I'm Ben Stevie. I'm Eve Hefner. And I'm Kyle Cohen. And our project is called Wind Turbine Efficiency. We chose this subject because we felt that it was really important that we, that we find a renewable energy source soon before we run out of fossil fuels. A wind turbine works by wind pushes against fins, which turns a wheel, which in turn turns a generator, which produces electricity. Um, we also did a previous experiment to see which material would be best for our fins. So we went for heavy cardboard, light cardboard, or construction paper. Um, light cardboard eventually ended up having make, turning out the most volts, so we decided to go with that. Our independent variables were um, shape and size. Um, the three shapes that we used were triangles, ovals, and rectangles. We also did, and our sizes were two inches. 5 inches and 8 inches. Our dependent variable were volts. Our hypothesis was a window with three oval, with three oval shapes, fins that are 5 inches long will be the ideal window. Step 1. We 3D printed all of the items that we needed, uh, which we did not design. Uh, and number two is all the attaching. So we attach the generator holder, which is the balloon, to the physics stand. Then insert the motor holder, which is red and round. Uh, yeah. So the motor, motor holder and the generator holder. Uh, no, the generator holder is the physics stand. Then the motor holder and the generator holder. Then the turbine uh, axle into the generator shaft. Then we put it public, uh, then we, wait, first we glued the axle onto the turbine wheel, then we put the turbine axle onto the turbine wheel. We put in cut popsicle sticks, cut two and a half inches on the turbine wheel. They, and, they, and they had to stick out of the wheel no more than two inches. So then we sold her two wires to the, to the generator, and one of them was positive and one of them was negative. Positive was black and negative was red. The alligator clipped them, here, we uh, to the multimeter. We plugged the red into V hertz, uh, vol uh, volts and hertz, and we plugged the black wire into calm. So we turn and before and then we turned the knob onto volts. Oh yeah, two volts. Uh, two V DC. No, it's two volts direct current. And then we turned it on and um, we made our fins. So that was kind of hard and time consuming. We cut out one model, we drew the model, we cut it out. And then we did that two other times for two other versions of it. And we did that with all nine types of fins. Comes finally the data collection, Yay. in which we first tape the the selected fins onto the popsicle sticks. Then wait. Uh, then we recorded. Yeah, then we then we rec then we recorded the um the yeah, amount the voltage. Three yeah. Times. Yeah. We recorded the data over three times. Average. Yeah. And the averaged it, and we had to do that nine times for each kind of thing. Then we made a, then we did the control of the popsicle sticks only, and it just did not apply. And so here's our data, and it turns out that two inch triangle, which is on the window right now, was the best under what that created the most volts. That created the most volts of point. Uh, 0.492 volts and on average. 
on average. And um, some things we could have done better is that we might have used, uh, we, we could have used more independent variables, like maybe the angle of the things. And some weaknesses we had were, um, That was something we could have done better. What were our strengths? We didn't say our strengths yet. The weakness in the experiment was that the distance between the fan and the turbine wasn't it's always exactly the same. It might have been off by one inch or less sometimes. So, oh yeah, for future experiments, we probably could test um, a different length, or a di no, probably a different independent variable. Maybe angle, the angle of the fan, uh, the fins, or the angle of the fan onto the uh, onto the turbine. Maybe different wind speeds. Yeah, maybe different wind speeds. And we could have had a different de dep dependent variable. If we had more time, we could do current. And 